Training a dog to use a nail scratch board can be a less stressful way to help them shorten their nails if they are frightened or overwhelmed during regular nail trims. Here are the steps you can follow to train your dog to use a nail scratch board. Here's all you'll need. Number one, a scratch board. There are several scratch board styles to choose from that can be purchased pre-made or you can DIY your own pretty easily by using a sturdy piece of wood or cutting board, ideally with a handle and 80 grit sandpaper. Number two, high value treats. And number three, patience and consistency. Step one, have your treats ready and sit down holding the scratch board in front of you with the scratch surface facing your dog at an angle. Step two, Mark and reward any interaction with the scratch board. Anytime your dog interacts in any way with the board, say yes or click if you're using a clicker, and then give them a treat. This may start with just sniffing the board. At this point, we just want them to associate the board with positive things. Step three, shape the behavior. As your dog becomes more comfortable with the scratcher, start shaping their behavior by rewarding them for any paw movement on the scratch board. You can start with even just a slight touch of the paw. Step four, gradual progress. Gradually increase your expectations. Reward your dog for using each of their paws to scratch the board, even if it's just a brief touch. Use enthusiastic praise and treats to reinforce the behavior. Over time, your dog will become more confident in their scratching of the board. Step five is optional. Use a cue. Introduce a cue that you'll use consistently when you want your dog to scratch the board. This can be a simple word like scratch or nails. Say the cue just before your dog paws the scratcher. Step six, increase duration. Aim to increase the duration of time your dog spends scratching the board. You can do this by waiting for them to show more interest or by gently encouraging them to scratch for a little longer before offering a reward. Step seven, regular practice. Consistency, as always, is key. Practice with the scratch board regularly, even if it's just a few minutes a day. Too much scratching on the board in one session can roughen up your dog's paw pads, so you don't wanna overdo it. Always check the length of their nails and the health of their pads before bringing out the scratch board to ensure they aren't already too short and there are no cuts or abrasions to the pad before scratch time. If you notice any injuries to the paw pads, do not have your dog practice with the scratch board. The severity of the paw pad injury will determine if veterinary care is needed. Step eight, maintain the scratch board. Keep the scratch board in good condition. Replace the scratcher material if it becomes too worn out. Step nine, be patient. Training takes time and every dog is different. Be patient and understanding throughout the process. If your dog becomes frustrated or disinterested, take a step back and proceed at their pace. Remember that training should always be a positive experience for your dog. If you notice any signs of stress or discomfort, it's important to adjust your approach or seek guidance from a professional dog trainer. Happy training!